In this video, you're going to learn how to do composition of functions, and we're going to go through four examples together. So let's dive in. The first thing you want to be aware of is this uh, different way of writing the composition of functions. Sometimes you'll see it as f of g of x with this little circle here. And this is equivalent to this notation, f of g of x. I prefer the second notation because it's a little bit more descriptive as far as working from the inside out like we normally do when we think of the order of operations with parentheses. Or you might see it like this, g of f of x, and you can write it as this g of f of x. So when you see it in this notation, it's kind of like you're working from the right to the left, whereas here you're working from the inside out. I'll show you what I mean. So in this first example, we're working with uh, f of x and g of x, these two functions, and we're going to find out what is f of g of 2. Now what that means is we're going to go to our g function, whatever's in parentheses, that's going to go in for x on the right side of the equation. So whatever's in the parentheses, that's like our new x value. So what we have here is we have uh, 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 1, that's what this quantity g of 2 is equal to. So that's actually, let's see, 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So what we have now is what's f of 11? So we're going to go to our f function, whatever's in parentheses, we're going to put that in for x on the right. So now we have 11, so 2 times 11 is 22, minus 1 is 21. So you can see what this is, it's like a two-step process, or I like to sometimes call it a double substitution. You're starting from the inside and you're saying I'm substituting 2 into my g function and I'm getting an answer and that answer then goes into my f function. And so what composition of functions do is like they're doing two operations and you can even have three functions, four functions, etc. Let's look at the next one. We've got g of f of 2. So here what you can see is we're starting with our f function and we're putting 2 in for x. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. So this quantity here is f of 2 is equal to 3. Now if we take 3 and we put that into our g function in place of x, what do we get? We get 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 1. So that's 9 plus 9 plus 1, which is 19. And notice, here we got 21, here we got 19, so the order is very important when you do composition of functions. Now these problems usually students can tackle pretty well, but what gets a little bit trickier here is when we're trying to write a function in terms of x using this composition. So here what we're doing is f of g of x, let's start by rewriting this in my preferred form, this f of g of x form here. So we're going to say, well, what is g of x? Well, g of x is this whole quantity right here, x squared plus 3x plus 1. So let's put that in place of g of x. And now, whatever's inside the parentheses here, just like we said, that's going to go in for x on the right side of the equation. So this is actually equal to 2 times this whole quantity, x squared plus 3x plus 1, minus 1. Okay, so now if we simplify, what do we get? We're going to distribute the 2, so that's going to give us 2x squared plus 6x plus 2 minus 1, or we could write this as 2x squared plus 6x plus 1. So that's what f of g of x is equal to right here. Now you might be saying, Mario, what's the significance of that? Well, see how here we had f of g of 2, and we did it in two steps? Well, say if we were to put 2 right in here for x, we're going to get 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, plus 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1. You can see we're getting 21, which is the same thing we got over here. It's just that now we have a function that will do it all in one step for us. Instead of having to do substituting first in for g, and then taking that answer, and then substituting in for f, this equation is going to do it all in one go, so to speak. So let's look at this one here, g of f of x. So again, I like to rewrite this in my preferred notation. Not, it's not mine, it's just a different way of writing it. And then f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. So let's put that in place of f of x. And now remember, the way functions work is whatever's inside of the parentheses here goes in for x on the right. It's kind of like saying this, you know, x is like the input, right? or the independent variable. So we're saying, hmm, this is our input. That's what we're putting in for x on the right. So instead of x, 
Okay, instead of x, we're putting this quantity in for x. So this is going to be 2x minus 1 squared plus 3 times 2x minus 1 plus 1. Now all we have to do is just a little bit of arithmetic. 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1, if you FOIL that out, let's here, let's actually write it out twice because sometimes this is a little confusing for students. So it's a binomial times a binomial. Here we can just distribute the 3, so that's going to give us 6x minus 3 plus 1. Here we have to FOIL or distribute twice, so we get, uh, let's see, 4x squared minus 2x minus another 2x plus 1 plus 6x minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so let's combine like terms. Starting with our highest power, we've got 4x squared. We've got a negative 2x, a negative 2x, that's negative 4x plus 6x is 2x. And we have 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And that's our g of f of x. Now again, let's take a look. g of f of 2, we got 19. We had to do this in two steps. First putting into the f function, taking that answer and putting it into the g function. Let's put it all into this one and see if it'll do it in one go for us. So 2 squared is 4, times 4 is 16, plus 2 times 2 is 4, that's 20, minus 1 is 19. You can see we're getting the exact same answer, it's just that with the composition here, we can do multiple operations by using this function as opposed to having to do it in two steps. So that's kind of the difference between when you're like evaluating at a particular number as opposed to using like an algebraic expression like we did here. So if you want to see more examples and you want to test yourself, which I recommend, follow me over to another video I did right there talking about composition of functions. Pause the video, try some of those on your own, and I'll see you over in that video.